All right, what's up, y'all? It's another one of that Say So TV. Uh, I had to hop on here real quick. It's the middle of the night, but I had to come out here to the garage just so I could, you know, spit my shit to y'all because it really just came to me about this topic that I wanted to do. This is basically a response to the video that I just put up recently about a month ago on how to turn straight black men out. This is a response on the comments that I got on basically you can't turn no straight man out and how basically all the dudes that I've or anybody that does mess with that consider themselves straight, that they are not straight. They never were straight. They fooled me. They fooled whoever or they were already gay. And I'm here to let y'all know what this really is and what I really uh, feel about being straight and being gay. So first, I'm going to just point out that y'all gay and straight are lifestyles, okay? Heterosexual, homosexual, and bisexual, those are your sexualities. Being straight, you can be bisexual and live a straight lifestyle. You can be even gay low-key and live a straight lifestyle, okay? You can be gay and bisexual like myself is what people would consider me. And I don't mind classifying myself as that because I am open about my sexuality. I am a part of the LGBT community. I'm the B. Um, and I do represent that. So I will consider myself a part of the gay community. But I'm still bisexual. Okay. So with that being said, DL men or the men that we fucking with or whatever. These men are straight men still. Okay. Just because... Y'all want to say that they was never straight. If they are living a straight lifestyle, if they got kids, they got baby mamas, if they living and they all their friends are straight, if they don't uh if they don't identify themselves as gay, that is a straight person, okay? This is what y'all need to understand. Also, on my opinion, y'all, straight ain't nothing but a status quo nigga. Okay, it makes you a it means that you're a follower. I'm about to hit some shit on y'all's head that's gonna make y'all really think, but just hear me out. I look at being straight like it's like your religion, like it's no different from being a Christian or a Muslim. If you were raised to think it and you were raised to if it was instilled in you as a child to believe this, what you should do and what you shouldn't do, that's no different than a religion. Think about it. Y'all, basically what I'm saying is I think that people should, if you basically like for ourselves, let's say most black people, we were raised in Christian or Muslim uh, homes. If you just are a Christian because you were taught to be a Christian, then to me, you ain't a real motherfucker. All right. Now, I ain't saying nothing's wrong with it. You know, there's nothing wrong with going with the faith that your family believes in and what you were instilled with. Cause that's all you know. At the end of the day, though, you're not a real motherfucker because real motherfuckers go and do their own research and they find out who they want to be when they become adults and allow themselves to be who they really are and not who they were told to be. All right. That's no different than being straight. Being a straight man ain't nothing but being a status quo follower man who cares about everyone's opinion and acceptance. So you do what they are telling you that you're supposed to do. You dress how they say you're supposed to dress. You move how you say that, that how they say you're supposed to move. Being gay to me or LGBT, being a part of the LGBTQ community, that to me just means that you are free. You don't have those shackles on you from everybody else. Basically, I feel like Straight people do what the fuck they can do and gay people or LGBT people do what the fuck they want. You ever heard that in a lyric? Hey, they do what they can. I do what I want. That's the difference to me. Like saying that you straight don't mean nothing besides that I'm a follower. I'm a status quo nigga. I want to be like everybody else. I want to fit in with the majority. That's all that that means because real nigga shit Straight, I mean, heterosexuals are not the majority. Homosexuals are not the majority. The majority is bisexuals, y'all. <laughs> it's 
if we were to take it back to time where before we were instilled with this religion that white people have instilled on us and et cetera, you don't know who we were before. We don't know who we were as people before. If you look into your history as a human being, humans went through a lot of shit of changing when it comes to sexuality. We have been fluid. Okay, so to be raised, to be taught that you're only supposed to have sex with girls, you're only supposed to do this, you're only supposed to do that, that boxes niggas in, and that's the reason why a lot of men still go and they fuck around with dudes, because they don't know that, they know that that doesn't feel natural to them, it's not natural to be boxed in as a child and be told who you're supposed to be, before you make your own decisions, okay, like, basically, y'all, That's the whole reason why, just like there's no difference from Christians, all right? People call themselves Christians, but then they'll go out here and have sex before marriage and then know that they're going to have sex again before the, before they marry, but call themselves Christians. That's why I said that's no different than being a straight man. A straight man will step out, have sex with a dude, and then call himself straight still just because he don't claim the lifestyle, just because he ain't, you know he don't identify as gay, he'll just consider himself straight. That doesn't mean that you're straight. Just like that motherfucker ain't no Christian. You are a Christian when you follow the commandments, when you do all that shit that that book says. I'm not about to call myself no Christian because I'm fucking niggas and I'm going to fuck a nigga again. I'm not about to sit up here and repent about fucking niggas and then think I'm not going to do it again. That means I'm not a Christian. Like, all the hypocrite shit. Like, I don't fuck with that. Like, I fuck with real motherfuckers. And my channel is for real people who want to think and they want to grow and not be boxed in. All I'm saying is... Do your research. Find yourself. Be who you are and not what this world told you to be. Me and my dude, the way we raising our son... We've already decided, like, we already got to figure, we trying to figure out how we going to come out to him eventually, you know what I'm saying? Because we haven't even told him about our, like, sexuality yet, you know, we know he about to start school, so we know, we, but what I'm basically saying is that he decided that he wants to allow his son to be who he wants to be. We ain't going to dye his hair, we ain't going to pierce his ears, we ain't going to do all that shit that parents do with their kids beforehand that they can't change. We ain't going to enforce no sexuality on him. We're not going to enforce certain things on him because we want to allow him to find himself and choose with who he wants to be and live the life he wants to live instead of making him be whoever we want him to be. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that's the way that it should be. And then people will be able to know who they really are. But a lot of Basically, what I'm saying is I don't feel like straight people really know who they are. They didn't get the chance. They were enforced on a lifestyle and a way of thinking. And then a lot of them follow it and they feel like that's just who they are. But to me, um, you're not who you really are until you've explored and you know who you are and you found shit that you didn't like and shit. You know what I'm saying? You up here forcing yourself not to mess with dudes just because somebody else told you that it wasn't right. Because think about it. Christians or religions tell you you're not supposed to smoke you're not supposed to do drugs niggas do it though because why it's cool like i just said they'll have sex before marriage because why it's cool so it's cool to go against your religion when it's cool the only reason why y'all niggas not fucking niggas is because it's not cool that doesn't mean that you're straight you're just following everybody the fuck else that you want to be like or that you've grown up around you know what i'm saying so what I'm saying is, y'all, that just hit that just really hit me on the head. I was like, what is it that people don't, you know, get? But I had to I had to realize how to break it down for y'all. OK, that's what it is. Straight ain't nothing but a lifestyle, which is a religion, which is like a cult. That's all straight and gay is. These is lifestyles. Heterosexual. Bisexual. And homosexual, those are your sexualities, all right? So, yes, the fuck you can turn out a straight man. If I can get you to do something that you don't want to do or that you ain't wanted to do, 
because everybody else told you not to, but you secretly wanted to do it, but you never explored it. Yes, that's turning a nigga out. I'm just saying, y'all, like, y'all keep wanting to defend and say, like, oh, ain't no straight man messing with no dude. Boy, please put a, a, a anybody in certain circumstances and they going to do certain shit. The only reason why niggas think that they straight or that think that they heterosexual is because think about it. If a kid never gets to, if you were told you can't swim, like let's say you was a kid and you wanted to swim, but everybody around you didn't know how to swim. And they told you that you black and you shouldn't be even knowing how to swim. You don't even be, need to be worried about no shit like that. And then you grow up and then you decide you just not going to swim and you can't swim. That don't mean that your ass was is is somebody who never wanted to swim you just were not able you were not allowed to so you never got to explore your potential in swimming because everybody told you that they that you couldn't do it or they frowned upon it or whatever and because you want to fit in and you care about everybody's acceptance and you're just following motherfuckers then you never know how to swim that doesn't mean that you didn't want to know how to swim Do y'all get what I'm saying here? Hey, a lot of people might, might not want to hear it, but that is the truth. You are not your true self until you step out of everybody else and what they want and figure out that on your own. But yeah, y'all, and just to clear up, I'm not saying... I'm against religion because I'm not anything that makes people feel good or whatever they want to believe. That's on them. I don't want to challenge anybody's religion. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying, do your own research. If you still believe in what you were raised on, then that's fine. You know what I'm saying? I just wanted to point that out. You know what I'm saying? That it is basically a status quo thing that's similar to a religion you were raised on it it was instilled in you and because of that that's the reason why you think that way you know what i'm saying hey let me know what y'all think about it comment and let me know and uh it, it, Thank you, baby. Mm. What you finna do? Roll up? I'm I'm gonna roll up a little bit. Alright, okay. You want me to let you know? No. Alright, alright. Alright, love you too. But yeah, y'all. That's baby sexy ass. <laughs> but yeah, y'all. That's it for this one. And I'll see y'all on the next one. Like, comment, subscribe. Cause Kelzo say so. Peace.